Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a revamped version of one that many of us already know. Today we're looking at the Royal Kludge RK100 Pro. Now this puppy is definitely uh, got some heft to it. So let's see what we have. Let me go ahead and take this out and set her aside for now just to see what we have in the box. All right, so I did order a brown, and as always, RK is kind enough to include some extra switches in case a pin breaks, in case one's stuck, whatever. And we also have our magnetic feet, which several of the RK models actually use. I have the RK71 around here somewhere. And that one also uses these uh, metallic feet. Now, or metallic, uh, magnetic feet. Now, why would we use magnetic feet on this? Remember, this is the RK Pro. Um, we also have a key switch, key cap floor, and a decent uh, USB-C to USB-A cable, as well as your 2.4 gigahertz dongle. So that is what we get in the box. And here we are, the RK100 Pro. Now, if you're not familiar as to why this one's called the Pro, it's because it has aluminum case. I mean, I know they list it as an aluminum frame, but this entire thing is aluminum, and it's quite, quite, quite chunky. Now, we do have, this is a three-mode keyboard, and let me see, we've got on and off and B and G. Those are the two switches. So, if we turn it on, we can see, all right, so it's trying to pair. So we've got your standard uh, PBT OEM shine through key caps, but this metal frame, or aluminum frame, excuse me, the aluminum frame is actually quite chalky. And just taking a look at it and inspecting it, I'm actually surprised at how good it looks. All right, there's a little, little blemish on the inside there. But other than that, this keyboard's actually looking pretty good. Now, this keyboard, I believe, retails right now is on sale for $69.99. And I've got to say, I mean, yeah, there's not many keyboards under $100 that you can get that are aluminum, let alone this chunky of aluminum. I mean, this is a, this is a chunky boy. Obviously, we've got all of the rest of the... Uh, RK100 features, except for we don't have the USB port, which worked in wired mode, but honestly, that's something that I think most won't mind having this um, chunky kit here. So let's just take a look here, pull up and check what do we have as stabilizers. Unfortunately, we have the milky colored stabilizers, which are not my favorite, but they seem to be slightly lubricated, not too much, not too little. And they are rocking. They are loose on the plate. And it does look like we are dealing with a... We're dealing with a steel plate as it is magnetic. So, looking at the keycaps, we have your standard double shot a translucent PBT. Let's see what the width of these are. Oh! Well, look at there, 1.4. Have they improved? Oh, I could have swore they were 1.2 previously. So I do know from what I've read that this one actually not only has an updated case, but apparently also includes all the foam. Now, I've seen a lot of, uh, of the RK kits. They've been getting revised or updated. All right, well, we don't have an IPX or PE foam uh, sheet, but we do have what, oh, no, wait a minute, no. There is no PCB plate dampening. Hmm, all right, well, then I'm guess I'm kinda wondering then if they're just considering the Aluminum Pro and just call it a day because, um, 
pro usually to me means that they've done some effort and actually, you know, added some things besides just a change of case, but actually do think, yeah, no, actually doing things to make it better, but I can see through to the bottom of the case, so there's no case and there's no plate PCB dampening. So while, I mean, I like the aluminum frame, I, I gotta say that not having dampening in here kinda dampens my spirit. <laughs> so I, I've gotta say, uh, that's the one thing that disappoints me because it sounds actually kinda decent, but that hollowness and the case inside not only, I mean, it's like dual ping because the switches are not lubed and it's got a hollow metal case in there. So it's like a double ping. Um, so honestly, I was looking forward to this keyboard and modding it to caress some better sound out of it. But I was honestly expecting a little bit more. So I am. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's disheartening that that they would go so far as to make. Um, I'm I'm gonna guess it's not CNC uh, aluminum, but they went so far as to add an aluminum case, but they didn't add any dampening. I mean, not even an IPX or PE foam, or at least some cheap open cell foam inside of the bottom case. I mean. I don't know. It's like, uh, why? I mean, yes, I could add that myself, but if I'm buying a Pro, I kind of expect that to already come out of the box. So I can say, oh, no, I want to use this, or I just want to use this foam here, you know, like the case foam, but not the play PCB foam, or vice versa. Whatever the situation might be, I should have the choices. But if it's a Pro keyboard, I'm going to expect Pro build not just oh hey we slapped our our keyboard into a aluminum case our plastic keyboard into aluminum case we're going to charge you guys 30 bu 30 bucks more on average as an upsell but we're not going to add anything else i mean i would have actually paid a little bit more if i if i had the choice but when i saw pro this one pro to me means okay we we have taken this the extra step and have added padding three and five pin hot switch uh, hot swap compatible it has dampening um it's pro sometimes actually means and it's starting to more and more mean a um, pc plate polycarbonate plate but we've got a steel plate and i mean it's basically just the rk100 without the the usb hub ports and no, no foam. So, because I've got some of the latest RK84 models, and they definitely, they're plastic still, but they come with some good dampening. So, I'm, I'm just honestly surprised at this. I am, um, I, I'm not going to keep it. I don't think it's, it's, it's for, in my opinion, for what I paid and what I'm getting, um, because I mean, just the aluminum, that's great, but like I said, include some dampening. Um, but for others, I think this may be, uh, the keyboard that they're looking for, especially if, if you're, you know, not looking to use it straight stock out of the box. I mean, not that it sounds awful, but it definitely doesn't sound like anything. And, Hey, I'm going to make a sound test because this keyboard sounds so great. It's just kind of, hmm. I mean, it's not awful, but that ping just comes through so significantly. Let's get technical. Today we are taking a look at the Royal Kludge RK100 Pro. It is a three mode, 2.4 gigahertz and Bluetooth 5.0 as well as USB-C keyboard. It is made out of CNC aluminum and includes a 3750 milliamp hour battery if it's the same battery as the RK100. Also includes PBT OEM shine through keycaps that are 1.4 millimeters in thickness and also has the choices of Gatoron switches, both or all three the blue, the brown, or the red. 
The chin sits at 22 millimeters and the back sits at 30 millimeters providing a default typing angle of 6 degrees. Using the included metal or magnetic feet you can raise the back height to 38 millimeters and providing you with a typing angle of 11 degrees. This keyboard manufacturer retail suggested price of $79.99. So, um, I mean, this keyboard doesn't sound good stock. It, I mean, it does come with Gateron, so they can be lubed. And I mean, I know some people are like, Browns, they're drunk linear. I don't mind them. But I like linears and tactiles, though I prefer tactiles, U4T being one of my favorite. Um, but one thing that I did notice, I connected this through Bluetooth, not 2.4, and it was almost instant. And I could not find any lag that I could see whatsoever. It, I mean, it, it was reacting as though it was wired. So while I myself am not going to keep this keyboard because I... At $80, I'm sorry, some dampening needs to be included. Um, I mean, I like the aluminum, but mm. um, I don't like that I couldn't find the battery specification. I mean, is it the same as the regular RK100? Is it the 3750? Is it bigger? Is it smaller? I don't know. It's information they should uh, give. Now, also, I couldn't find a link to the driver software. I could find the RK100, but the RK100 Pro... Um, was not easily available and it wasn't listed on their description on their link on Amazon so while the wireless seems to be very good especially for a magnetic case and a steel plate uh, I don't know how that signal is getting out and not just getting trapped in there like a Faraday cage but they're obviously doing some sort of magic um, I wonder how much distance and everything but since I'm not going to keep this keyboard, I'm really not going to do much more testing beyond that. If you're going to sell something pro, you got to bring the game. Don't get me wrong, I like Royal Kludge, and they have upped their customer service as of the last year or so. They've been doing much better where they were kind of going down the Epo Maker Road, but they, they've been picking up, and they they have responded much more attentively than they ever have before in the past. And I know that I helped several individuals on uh, through our through our Discord and our subreddit, um, actually get in touch with them and get warranty replacements for keyboards that they had that had issues and they weren't getting through. So their Discord seems to be about the best way to get a hold of them and email being second to that. So uh, they are being more responsive than they used to be. But like I said on this one, if they want to sell it as a pro for seventy nine ninety nine, um, they've got to include some dampening. It's just it's great that it's CNC aluminum, but no dampening nowadays. It's like, all right, Royal Clutch, you got to step up and join the game. The budget has changed. So hopefully uh, they'll take notice of this because, I mean, this could just be the 100, the RK100A. And then you can have it one, you know, for aluminum, then have an RK100A Pro. And that, then you have the dampening. Then I'll pay it. 79.99 for it but otherwise i just can't seem to find the value in this keyboard so i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of the royal clutch rk100 pro with aluminum frame and i, I do have the feet on there i like a little bit of angle um you guys can uh it's it's working it went to sleep but it was instant to turn back on i mean as soon as i hit the alt tab it popped up on my uh, computer so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this rk100 pro until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on